Hi everyone, in this video I'll be talking about Childberg's grading system for liver diseases and this grading system actually just um, tells you about the severity of liver diseases and I'm just going to tell you how to remember the whole thing. Um, there's a mnemonic for this and it's Abman and this was Charles grading and um, Berg added a P to it for prothrombin time so P for Berg and P for prothrombin time is easy to remember now what happens is um, if you're like me and you have a lot of mnemonics up your sleeve you kind of forget what the mnemonic was and um, that's okay you kind of make an association to remember the mnemonic like some people were like you know I can't remember Abman for Charles Berg's grading system so what I do is I think of liver disease and because the grading is for liver diseases and if you've seen a patient with hepatic failure it's typically a male patient and they have a very protrubent tummy because of um, ascites and hepatomegaly and stuff like that. So they don't have those classical uh, six-pack abs that a well-fed person has. So, you know, just remember ab man for abs, which patients with liver disease don't have. So, yeah, that is how I remember. And the grading, um, there are magic numbers 2, 3 and 6 for the grading and I'll just tell you how they work into the grading in just a minute. Um, basically what you do is you give points to the patient depending on what he has, um, 1, 2 and 3 and then you add up all of the points and you kind of classify the patient into child's grade A, B or C. But let's just talk about what the alphabets ABMAN stand for. A is for albumin and this is because albumin is produced by the liver. B is for bilirubin because um, if your liver is not functioning, you are going to have a buildup of bilirubin in your body. M is for mental status and this is because Patients with liver failure also have hepatic encephalopathy and A is for ascites and this is because of various reasons. Basically two reasons you should know of is because albumin decreases and this decreases the oncotic pressure and because of portal hypertension which is seen in patients with liver disease. N is for nutrition and P is for prothrombin time like I said before. This is Perl's modification. Okay, so um, albumin, if it is greater than 3.5 grams per deciliter, then you give 1 point to the patient. And if it's less than 2, then you give 3 points to the patient. And if it's anywhere between 3.5 and 2, you give 2 points. For bilirubin, if the bilirubin is less than 2 milligrams per deciliter, then you give 1 point. And if it's greater than 3, then you give 3 points. And if it's between 2 and 3, then you give 2 points. So you kind of see how 2, 3 kind of recur again and again because there's 3 out here and out here and then there is 2 out here and here. And then in between comes the 2. So, um, 6 actually works in with the prothrombin time because if the prothrombin time um, delay is up to 3 seconds, then you give 1 point. If it is greater than 6 seconds, then you give 3 points. And if it's anywhere between 3 and 6, then you give 2 points. For the sake of completion, I'll just talk about the mental status, ascites and nutrition. Um, if the mental status is normal, then you give one point. If the patient is confused or disoriented, then you give two points. And if his patient is in a coma, you give three points. If the ascites, um, if a patient has no ascites, you give one point. If it is controlled, but it's there, then you give two points. And if it's uncontrolled, then you give three points. 
for nutrition if the nutrition is very good then you give one point if you um, the nutrition is good then you give two points and if it's poor then you give three points so you get the grading right if the patient is on the better side you give less points and if it's worse then you give three points now you add up all the score and if the patient has a score of less than six then he's in child's grade A if it's anywhere between 7 and 9, he's in child's grade B. And if it's between 10 and 15, then um, it's child's grade C. And remember the magic numbers 2, 3, and 6? So 6 came up twice. It was there in the post from time, and it's child's grade A also. In fact, the magic number 3 also works out here because 3 times 2 is 6 and 3 by 3 is 9 and 3 by 5 is 15 so it's easy to remember because you know the upper limit and then it's easy to work out the lower limit actually the whole of child's grade um, grading is easy it's just that you have to stare at it and look and observe and if you just find out that 2 and 3 are all over the place um, that's all I hope you had fun learning and stay awesome.